The Floral Ghost is a new collaboration between two noted artists, best-selling author Susan Orlean, whose book The Orchid Thief was made into the Academy Award-winning film adaptation, and celebrated visual artist Philip Taft. Joining us now to discuss this one-of-a-kind collaboration is Susan Orlean. Welcome, Susan. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. How did the two of you get paired up on this project? It was a wonderful accident, and it was it was really an accident because I knew of Philip's work and admired it and was aware of him but had never met him, had no idea that we'd ever collaborate. But uh, Katie Michelle, who's a gallerist who owns Plant House Gallery, and they were based in the floral district, in the flower district in New York, and were being priced out, as so many businesses there are, as it's gentrifying. She had the idea of putting together a show of her favorite artist um, to kind of reflect and respond to the idea of them being moved out of the district. She invited an ar array of visual artists and, and asked me to write an essay to be part of the show. And that is how Philip and I ended up being in this Fantastic. show together. So you had the essay written, and he came up with the visual representation of it. Right. Okay. It, it was, we were both responding to this idea of mm -hmm. the end of this very particular kind of neighborhood in New York. Right. The, well, your book is such a beautiful, it's such a tribute to the Flower District, to that area. And it's so lovely. It's almost a poem. It feels like yeah. a poem, and actually, once it's paired up with Philip's art, I feel like it really reads in as a a, a text poem. It in a does. Way. It almost made me think of sort of classical Chinese art, where the poetry and the art are intertwined in some ways. You know, I don't know if that was an intention of the book or of Katie Michelle. Well, it's very much an intention that they are speaking to each other. Right. The visual as well as the text are kind of interacting in a sense and and it was also interesting to do a book in this age of ebooks yes. and digitizing everything we read this is very much a physical object it, it's really a book to hold to turn the pages, to see it as a, a physical thing Absolutely. and not a digital file. Absolutely. Now, do you wish there were more of these sorts of collaborations between writers and visual artists? I mean, I guess you could say film is and to some extent, but this seems more intimate than that. This, yes, and it, it really, you know, film is such an overwhelming, right. uh, you know, corporate entity yes. once you get a movie underway. I don't know that you have quite that same sense of this conversation, because right. this is really what it feels like, a conversation between people coming from different mediums responding to the same notion, which is the the disappearance of this unique neighborhood yes. in Manhattan. It really was a moment in time, a place and yeah. a moment in time. And now I have to ask you sort of on a tangent, I, I always wanted to ask you, when going back to adaptation, when Charlie Kaufman first came up with the screenplay and you looked at it <laughs> at first, you know, before you knew what a great movie it was going to be, were you a little perturbed by... Oh, more than a little, <laughs> more than a little. In fact, my first response was, Absolutely not. <laughs> Under no circumstances. Talk about collaboration. Yes, right. I just thought, you're crazy. No. And I literally said to the producers, look, I, <laughs> you do what you want because they had optioned my book. I didn't really have the legal right <laughs> to say no. But I will not give this my blessing. I said, take my name out because I hadn't given them the right to use my name in, or to be a character. So I said, you make your movie, but I can't. I can't. You you have to remove my name. And the the thing that really pushed me over the edge was they said very cleverly, okay, that's all right if you really feel that way, but how are you going to feel when we flash on the screen, the big screen in the sixplex of your book and the jacket of your book with someone else's name <laughs> as the author? Well, you can imagine. Yes, and so, I said, all right. All right. Second thought, you can use. And my you name. come around. You come <laughs> yes. around. Yes. It's a brilliant movie, yeah. and it really is, in a way, uh, an honor to be associated with something that I think generally we look at as really one of the great contemporary films, and maybe the ultimate. Uh, reflection on the idea of adaptation. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on that, and of course, your new book, *The Floral Ghost*. It's lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.